Today on this video we're going to look at the resistor color code and it may seem intimidating at first and you really don't need to learn it. Here you can see some resistors that I've been using recently and these are low values at the bottom. These are really rare. These are really common. Those two up there. But in uh, any case when I want to return my uh, 10 ohm resistor right there I can just look at the resistor that I have and compare it with the color on the ones in there. That's what I did uh, with that one most likely before I put it back. So it's not absolutely crucial that you learn the color code. Good chance you can get away uh, for a long time without ever learning it. You can also measure it directly with a multimeter. But this video we're going to focus on the color code. So now the color code, the uh, bands on there tell us its rated value and then it has a tolerance so that's a percentage it can be higher or lower right there and a uh, gold is common for the beige ones and uh, the blue ones it's typically brown for one percent there's also uh, silver ones but I never come across those but uh, just be aware that that is a possibility and so in any case we want to get the tolerance to the right and then we have our value here so we have digits to begin with so that's a direct transfer from this number to the uh, value right there so there's usually two of them for a beige resistor these are getting pretty rare you might really just run across uh, blue ones for the most part uh, except for older equipment but in case there's two digits for the beige and then three for the blue one usually and then after that there's a multiplier so that gets a uh, little more confusing but what that is really is you take the number for whatever color it is and that's the number of zeros after that and uh, there's some other colors for the uh, multiplier for rare resistors as I said before the uh, 10 and the 68 ohm that I showed earlier are rare they had a gold multiplier so that is less common usually it'll be one of these colors right there so now the first resistors we'll look at is uh, this picture that I took a long time ago and I wrote the values on there and how you figure it out so first off we take the tolerance right there it's gold it's five percent and that's really common for the uh, beige ones they're usually pretty easy to read you put the gold band to the right and then you start at the left with your digits right there so we got brown for one and then black for zero now that's our digits the uh, last band that's not the tolerance is the multiplier and so really red means times a hundred you'll see that on some color codes but I like to just do it where you have the number two right there which will be the number of zeros and uh, same thing as multiplying it by a hundred ten times a hundred is a thousand and uh, red for two is two zeros you end up with a thousand right there now it could be five percent higher or lower its actual value but its rated value is a thousand now we have uh, this resistor over here we have a two for the uh, first digit and then uh, red I should say and then black for zero and then the multiplier again is a red band for two more zeros so that's two thousand but it could be five percent higher or lower and so now we're going to look at the uh, blue resistors the rest of the resistors here are going to just be drawings but in uh, any case with uh, the blue 1000 ohm resistor and even the hundred we have a uh, issue where the tolerance is a brown band and number one the first digit or the first digit I should say which is one is a brown band and so sometimes these spacings aren't clear but uh, one little trick is that uh, it's not common I haven't come across any anyway resistors that uh, the digits go one one it's uh, one and a zero or uh, one and five or something but I don't come across one and one so if you have a brown band next to a brown band uh, it's probably the tolerance uh, side but in any case, again, we have brown band for one, black for zero, black for zero. And then for the 1,000 ohms, we have a brown band for the multiplier. So that's one, zero, or times 10. A lot of color codes will show a times 10 right there. But as I said, it's easier for me just to think of it as one, 
one zero right there. Now the tolerance is one percent, so the uh, range that the actual value may be, the rated value is a thousand, but it might actually be nine hundred and ninety, or it might be one thousand and ten right there. So now hundred ohms, same thing except for the multiplier is black, and so that's zero zeros or times one according to uh, some tables right there. So 1% tolerance, it'll probably be 99 to 101, somewhere in that range. I do have cheap resistors where it falls out of the range a little bit, but I still think it was the worst ones were like 2% off or something. It's usually still close to 1%. Really makes no difference for basic circuits. Unless you have a real precision circuit, you don't need an exact resistance value. Now 220, we already looked at the red is two, and then, so that's the other digit, we know that's the multiplier there, because it's brown, and then black, uh, zero, and then the multiplier, again, it's uh, zero, zeros, or times one, according to, uh, according to some tables. Now, 470 ohms, I use that quite a bit, because a, uh, my first kit had these beige resistors, and uh, 470 was common. I also have 510 ohm resistors. But uh, in any case, 470 is common, so 4 is yellow, and then 7 is violet right there. So you can see yellow, violet, 4, 7, 0, and then uh, black, 4, no more zeros. So it's really that simple. Now, what we're going to do is look at a multiplier that changes. So the uh, silver stands for basically 100th, and then uh, gold one-tenth so or you can multiply by uh, 0.1 for gold or 0 0.01 for silver right there so a uh, one ohm resistor right there again it's one zero and zero because it's a blue resistor and so all my low value resistors are uh, blue ones but in any case then you come to uh, silver and so when you have 0 0.01 that you multiply it by two you move the decimal point two spots like that so you see two spots that way as a multiplier you move the decimal spot two points that way so then it's 1.00 or 1 ohms pretty straightforward and then gold basically the same thing except for you got uh, 100 and then the multiplier is 0.1 so there's one spot to move the decimal point so you move the decimal point there and you got 10 so 10 for 10 ohms pretty common now as I said before, beige resistors are out there, and uh, I don't really come across them anymore. And uh, but uh, if you have the beige ones, still it works the same. So we already looked at the 1,000 up there. The main takeaway is that uh, they usually have a gold band on them for a 5% tolerance. So it's probably going to be somewhere between 950 to 1,050 right there. Now we're going to a larger value resistor. Let's do the beige one first since we're still here, still 5%. Uh, that's pretty much universal right there. And I've got one, zero. Now we have orange for three right there. So there's three more zeros, or again, a lot of tables will say times a thousand right there. So it might be 9,500, might be 10,500, but it's probably somewhere within that range. And then we already looked at the 1 kilo ohm, but uh, 10 kilo ohms is pretty common. I use that in my transistor videos for a base resistor all the time. And uh, so 1, zero, zero again. And then red for two more zeros, or times 100 again, if you want to do it that way. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, not uh, too complicated. The uh, color code only tells you the uh, resistance value plus its tolerance. It doesn't tell you the wattage, that's usually based on size, and uh, unless you're really good at telling the size of resistors and their wattage, you kind of have to pay attention when you buy them and uh, make sure you keep track of that. But in uh, any case, here is uh, the color code for a final look and that I drew up, and uh, I will post some other videos, make sure you check those out. And uh, I got links down in the description and uh, whatnot. Check those out. All of them help for the most part if you click them. Especially Patreon if you want to donate. That would help out uh, the most for a single thing. But just watching the videos, liking and subscribing and everything helps out a ton too. So thanks for that.
I will see you in the next video.